Our series focusing on the mental health of athletes during the unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic continues tonight. Sports psychologist Dr. Jared Spencer and author of the book Mind of the Athlete, Clearer Mind, Better Performance, joining me for the discussion. We look at the age groups too. I mean, this isn't just focusing on the professional athletes who are really in a hiatus right now. You got the high school athletes here in Pennsylvania who have lost the rest of their seasons, the winter sports athletes losing their postseason, the spring sports athletes losing their entire seasons. Of course, the college athletes in the same boat. Are they at a higher risk for, for these problems? They can be, and the reason is this. Athletes are used to getting a certain amount of release of neurotransmitters such as serotonin, which is happiness, and dopamine, which is pleasure, endorphins, natural painkillers. And they get those through the grueling workouts. And so the further up the ladder you go with competition and athletics, uh, the more intense the workouts are, but also the bigger the release of those chemicals are. And so for some athletes, or many athletes that are home right now, they're not getting that same level of sweat. Uh, they're having to make up home gyms or make up their own workouts in their backyard, but they're not getting that same drug release, and therefore they may find themselves feeling a little bit more depressed, a little bit more anxious, a little bit more moody, irritable, cranky even, and that's a concern. And the way you see it, these circumstances, though, th that we are in could be a way for some of these athletes to uh, work on some things at a personal level, not just their, their athletic ability. And I think you, you alluded to this a little bit earlier. I did. And, and really the biggest question that the pandemic is causing athletes to go through, and really all people in general, is this. Who are you away from your sport? Who are you without your job, without your title? And it's forcing us to really come to grips with who am I? What are my interests? What do I like? Uh, what really motivates me? And so I really recommend to everybody, and especially the athletes, to go for a lot of introspective walks where you're out there by yourself and you're just trying to answer these questions. Beyond my job, beyond sports, beyond academics, who am I as a person? And that's a real tough inner journey, but it's incredibly profound and rich when you begin to uh, answer those questions and get a better sense of who are, who am I?